What's up everybody, my name is Justin Odisho, and the other day I was watching the music video for Jay-Z's song Big Pimpin' and I thought I'd show you guys how to recreate those white letterboxed cinematic bars that you see on the top and bottom rather than the typical black bars. So this is a very simple process to actually do, but it comes with a bit more of an in-depth reasoning and explanation. Since these are fake bars, you might want to know the rules before you break them. But first, I'm going to just start by dragging our clip onto the timeline and showing you how to create it, and we'll explain a little bit more afterwards. So if you create your sequence by just dragging the footage on the timeline, it'll automatically create it based on the size of the clip. So this is a 1920 by 1080. This is the typical standard size you see on YouTube videos and pretty much every format online. Now when we think about a more cinematic or film ratio, it's a little bit wider, and so when you try to fit something that's more of like a 2, 3, 5 to 1 ratio rather than a 16 to 9 ratio into this 1920 by 1080 box that you see on YouTube and whatnot, you have to squeeze the sides in a little bit, which creates black bars on the top and bottom so you can still see the full picture. However, when some people want to get the feel of that cinematic movie look, you can just slap black bars on top and bottom ultimately cropping some information out of your original video, which in some cases might not matter to you. So in order to do that, but make it any color we want, such as white, I'm gonna to go to my project media bin, and I'm gonna to go to file, new, color, matte. This is gonna allow me to pick any color I want for my bars. In this case, I'll choose white and press okay. Now I can click and drag this on top of my sequence and extend it as long as I want, and I'll click, and highlight it and go to the effects control panel and search for our effect called crop. What we'll do is drag this onto the color mat and we're gonna crop the top and bottom. So for this color mat, I'll go to the top and I'll crop it about 87%. That leaves us with 13% of white bar at the bottom, which is similar and close to a two, three, five to one ratio if it were squeezed into the 1920 by 1080 frame. Now that's just one half and we can't crop the other half without losing it. So what we're gonna do is just duplicate this color mat. I'll hold option, just click and drag it up. And in this one, I'll switch that around. So I'll be at zero for the top and this time I'll do 87 at the bottom. So what we're left with is two different sides of the puzzle that creates our white letterbox bars. Pretty simple. We can select both of those, right click and nest them together if we just want one easy layer to work with. And if you wanna extend it to be shorter or further, you can just press R to activate your rate stretch tool and then stretch it inward or outward to extend the length of it pretty much. So that's one way to get a color bar on top of everything without having to create it in Photoshop. This will work no matter what size you're working with, 4K, 1080. And a few things to note are, yeah, you are losing some stuff at the top and bottom. So you actually can go to your bottom clip. You can adjust the position now a bit. You have some wiggle room on the Y axis. So you could move it to frame it how you like. You could also animate this frame with keyframes. You could start at one position and then slightly pan upward to replicate a little bit of camera movement if that's what you wanna do. But do keep in mind that you're losing clip. You're, you're pretty much cropping with this method and you're not truly getting a widescreen. But for many of you who may just be trying to do a cool cinematic cutscene in your vlog or some other type of YouTube video where you wanna give off that film look, this should do you just fine. But that's basically how you can create this white crop bar to add to your videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on below. Definitely check into the topic of ratios more, do some research, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my new future uploads. You can follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisho. I'd love to reach out to you more on there. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.